Obama made a campaign stop in North Las Vegas this evening. He stomped on stage for Hillary Clinton and U.S. Senate candidate Catherine Cortez Masto. Politics Now anchor Patrick Walker is here with a recap of what the president had to say tonight. Patrick? Well, Sheree, if there was still any doubt about how important Nevada is in this year's election, especially to Democrats, it's pretty clear after today, Hillary Clinton sent her most high-profile surrogate to Las Vegas, the President of the United States. For the first time in over a year, President Barack Obama making a stop in Las Vegas. This time, it was to campaign for Hillary Clinton. For all the progress we've made, if we don't work as hard as we can in these next 16 days, all that progress could be out the window. The president did not hold back when talking about Clinton's opponent, Donald Trump. Competing for the job I currently hold, you've got a guy who proves himself unfit for this office every single day. Obama also stumped for Democratic Senate candidate Catherine Cortez Masto. Harry Reid's seat is a key one for Democrats who want to keep the seat blue and regain control of the Senate. The way you boost Catherine's odds of winning this election, the way you make sure that Jackie and Rubin are in Congress yeah. is to go vote. Cortez Masto also took and the stage, Rubin. using what has become a familiar refrain as she tries to tie her opponent to Donald Trump. For the last eight months, Congressman Heck was Donald Trump's biggest supporter right here in Nevada. Right? Cortez Masto holds about a 2.5% lead in the Real Clear Politics average of polls over the past two weeks, which is within the margin of error. And Hillary Clinton is also polling ahead of Donald Trump in Nevada, about five points ahead in a head to head matchup over the past several weeks. Well, this could be the final time the president visits Las Vegas as the sitting president. He has been here twice in the past year and a half. Both of those trips were policy uh, trips out here. Most recently, he was the headliner for the Lake Tahoe Summit and before that at a clean energy conference right here in Las Vegas last summer. Now for the masses who came out to today's rally, it was also potentially last time for them to see the president. Brittany Edney is live in the newsroom with more on that side of the story. Brittany. Well, Patrick, imagine waiting hours in line with your ticket in hand only to not even make it through the door. Well, that was the reality for thousands today after a massive crowd showed up for the event. Hello, Nevada! I came to, you know, record Obama and, you know, try to understand more about the future and you know, try to get in where I fit in. 15-year-old Malaysia Harris was among the thousands who wanted to take advantage of Sunday's chance to see President Barack Obama in person. But for Harris, the experience was more sentimental after receiving this education award signed by Obama back in 2015. It means a lot to me from the heart because, you know, it makes me want to achieve better, go stronger, go harder. But with thousands showing up to the rally, many ticket holders were left outside. Hillary Clinton's camp says around 3,000 people got in and about 2,100 were over Flow. Every obstacle is an opportunity. The fact that we are here, the fact that we are in period to be a part of something great, it doesn't matter whether you're right on the stage or you're right on the grass, you're still going to get the same message and it's going to be awesome. Most of the overflow crowd ended up on a field where a screen was set up to show the speech. While some were disappointed about the packed house, many said they're still excited about being part of the experience. That's all that matters, and I wanted to support the cause, and I wanted to make sure that we have all the voting rights and everything, and, you know, we have to make sure that we're here. Don't talk about it if you're not going to be about it. We reached out to the Clinton campaign to see what happened with the ticket situation. A campaign rep told me that on the tickets, it does say that admission is not guaranteed. Also adding that they did their best today to accommodate the overflow. I'll send it back to you, Shree.